Okay, hoping someone can help me with this. I'm trying to set up a session where I can have a mic input track or channel with some effects that I want to print on every vocal track. What, for whatever reason, doesn't matter. Yes, you could apply them to every track, but I just want to probably try to do this the way I did it on analog or on a different DAW, but can't work out how to do this on Reaper. So I've got this mic input here, and I want this beat to be my master mic input. It's got a set of um, effects for whatever reason that I want to print on every track that just seems to work for whatever reason. Okay, so set up a new track, and like so. And so I want to send this, the input of this track with the effects on it, I want to send it to this track. So I'm just going to route it to this one like so. I'm going to turn off the master send for this one. So I'm coming into this track and this one, I'm going to put this to input none, but I'm going to put this to record output and output mono. Okay, so now I'm coming in on this one. This one is set to record disable input monitoring only. It's, this is my main uh, control room mic that is, it's picking up, which I'm using now. And I am going to record nothing. But I'm routing it to this track here. So I can now put this track into record. And this is the key to the problem is that whether you're in record, armed or disarmed, the audio is coming into this track and into your, into your monitoring whether you arm it or not. And that creates a problem if you imagine stacking up a whole load of tracks. So you put this one into record, go into it and sing something. Okay, fine, so we've got that recorded. Take this off, record, arm, but we're still monitoring through this track. So if I duplicate this track, Got another one, take that content out. So now I've got two that are monitoring everything coming into here. I don't want that. I just want to be able to arm one and let's duplicate another one. Uh, sorry, uh, duplicate this track. So now I've got three, these three here um, are all monitoring this. Uh, is there any way that you can do this? Because the, the, the only other way I can see to do it is to just use input effects. So each vocal track have these effects. So just copy them onto the input of a track and then that will get printed. But that isn't what I want to do. I want to have a master track here with the effects and I want to route it to whatever track I want to record and so those effects are printed, but you can't turn off the monitor. I mean, someone else has spotted this before, or well, many people have. You cannot turn off the monitoring for these tracks that you route to, no matter, unless you mute them, but then you won't be able to hear what you've recorded on them. Anyway, is there a fix? Thanks, if you can help.